fuck out of here with that bullshit. Now available at Paperback and Kindle Unlimited, The Man Crisis. Learn why so many men are struggling to find their way in an increasingly gynocentric world in The Man Crisis. Get your copy of The Man Crisis in Paperback and Kindle Unlimited today. Yesterday, Kyle Rittenhouse decided to go on the witness stand and testify on his own behalf in his murder trial. And as he was testifying, he went on a display of his tyrannics where he burst into some extra salty crocodile tears. Now, the reason why I call these crocodile tears is because your 17-year-old Kyle Rittenhouse was so ready to be a man when he went out here with his AR-15 and drove down to Kenosha, Wisconsin to call himself protecting property after the shooting of Jacob Blake. And he was such a big bad man with his loaded firearm when he went out here and shot and killed two people and wound up maiming another, but he wants us to believe that he's such a crybaby in the, in the courtroom that we should sympathize with him. Well, I find it hard to be sympathetic to a Kyle Rittenhouse because before this whole display he placed in the courtroom, he was acting like a big bad man with his, with his AR-15 in the street over a year ago. And after the shooting, he was out here in numerous bars with white supremacists acting like a big bad man back then. But now he wants us to sympathize with him, and he wants us all to see him as a boy. And I have to call bullshit on that, because if you're a big bad man to step out here and do what a man does, like going out here to so call yourself being so-called security for another man's business, even though that man never asked you to do anything, then you need to be man enough to face those consequences the way a man would. No, you don't get to go back out here and then say, oh, I'm a little boy and a victim, when you go out here and you take actions on your own. No, a man, when he goes out here and he takes action, he takes accountability for his actions. He does not go out here and regress to the place of a boy and then tries to play the victim. No, that is a play straight out of the book of a beta male, and that's what your Kyle Rittenhouse is doing right here, taking that play out of the playbook of a beta male, where he wants to go out here and be a man when it's convenient for him, but then wants to backpedal to the role of a boy whenever adult men hold him accountable for his actions and insist that he go out here and take responsibility for his actions. No, adult men, whenever they go out here and they take actions, they think critically about those actions. They understand that when they take an action, there's going to be an equal and opposite reaction or response to their actions, and that they have to deal with the consequences of those actions. Unfortunately, we have a whole group of white supremacists who want to enable this boy, similar to the way some in the black community want to enable a lot of these thug and gang members out here by making excuses for this boy, by saying, oh, my baby didn't hurt nobody. And that's what they're trying to do in the case of your Kyle Rittenhouse right here. They're trying to say, oh, my baby didn't hurt nobody, even though we see on video him going out here and looking to hurt people and going out here looking to cause trouble because any 17-year-old boy who is a has responsible parents is going to ensure that their son is not going to go out here during a riot talking about he's going to be security because they're going to sit that boy down and tell him that one, you are a minor Two, you do not have a security license. And three, you are, it's not your job to go out here and protect somebody else's property. No, 
those people can go out here and hire their own private security. And it is not your job as a minor to go out here and help the so the police, so I like your Kyle Rittenhouse claims. No, law enforcement watch commanders do not need civilians in a riot zone they are trying to contain because that causes them to have an, a civilian in their in their riot area that could possibly create a catastrophic situation just like your Kyle Rittenhouse wound up creating. But because we had a lot of white supremacists in this, I believe, in that area of Kenosha, Wisconsin, they enabled your Kyle Rittenhouse's irresponsible and reckless behavior, and they make excuses for your Kyle Rittenhouse. And these people, they are doing the exact same thing many of the single mothers of gang members are used to do, trying to deny the fact that this boy is out of order and out of pocket by saying things similar to what these single moms in the gang areas used to say, oh, my baby didn't hurt nobody, and what they're doing with Kyle Rittenhouse is the exact same thing, trying to make it look like their baby didn't hurt anybody, and sitting there with this boy with this extra salty tears, which are just as much bullshit as the gang members who get on the stand in their own murder trials, but they want us to believe he's a victim, but he's no more a victim than a thug or a gang member who goes out here and takes the lives of people in a drive-by shooting. Your Kyle Rittenhouse knew what he was doing, knew what he planned to do, and when he heard on the news that a white cop had shot a black man and that they were rioting, he wanted to go out here and play the role of a hero. It's no different than what your George Zimmerman was doing with Trayvon Martin, because with the beta male, he wants to be the hero, and he wants to be the big man in the, in the world, but he doesn't want to go out here and take accountability and responsibility the way a hero does. What he doesn't, what these beta males don't want, they want is the accolades and the fame, and that's what people in white supremacy are doing, enabling your Kyle Rittenhouse by making him a pseudo-hero, but he's actually the villain of the story because, one, nobody asked him to come down there, two, he had no business being there, and three, he is not a victim in this case because he, if you were a victim, it's because of something that you didn't do no, he willfully and intentionally inserted himself into this situation with this riot, and he tried to make himself out to be a hero in a situation where he was not needed. No, law enforcement did not need your Kyle Rittenhouse to come out here and back them up. No, watch commanders already had trained officers ready to try to contain that situation, they had EMTs that were trained to deal with the situation. They did not need this 17-year-old spoiled little bitch to come down to their riot zone. And they didn't need this little wimp to come down here with his little weapon in his little crocs trying to play hero when they were trying to deal with a serious situation. Now, what I saw on that witness stand, again, was, this, was the typical classic beta male response whenever they get held accountable. And what they do is they go into extra salty tears in an effort to try to get people to sympathize with their plight. But their plight is not something anybody would sympathize or empathize for once you look at the details of their actions. Because once you take a critical examination of their actions, you will see that their behavior is completely out of pocket, their behavior is completely out of control, and this is this individual needs to be held accountable for their out-of-pocket actions because it's their out-of-pocket actions that cause the problems that they're having, and you have to hold this person accountable for their actions. Now, what's really troubling about your Kyle Rittenhouse and his extra salty tears and the whole what I believe fixing of this case is, is that we're looking at an attempt to create legal precedent 
to get this boy off, and that legal precedent will allow more beta males to go out here and feel justified in participating in shootings where they take the lives of innocent people and then go back and say that he, w he wasn't looking to hurt anybody, similar to what we saw with George Zimmerman. And again, that's a dangerous legal precedent because it leads to a slippery slope. And that slippery slope leads to any person out here who is a white supremacist or a white male, or even a non-black male, like in the case of George Zimmerman, feeling like they are justified in taking the life of any person. And again, that's a dangerous legal precedent. And it's all because you have a group of white supremacists who want to enable this spoiled, rotten little bitch who is a big bad man when it's out to step into the street, but he turns into a crybaby on the witness stand, and we're supposed to believe he's such a sweet and innocent boy, but if you're going to step out here and do the work of a man, you need to deal with the consequences of life like a man. And that is why your Kyle Rittenhouse is no different than your thug or your gang member, because what he's doing is he'll go out here being the big, bad, hyper-masculine man with his firearm, but when it's time to face consequences, he wants us to sympathize with him and feel sorry for him when it's time for him to deal with the responsibilities of his actions. And we have a bunch of people similar to the single moms in the hood who used to say, oh, my baby ain't never hurt nobody, he's such a good boy, when he wasn't a good boy to begin with, because what so-called good boy goes out here and tries to manipulate people into giving him a firearm, as some people propose, and what good boy goes out here and manipulates his mother or persuades some other person, based on whatever report these white supremacists try to do to revise the narrative to protect this boy, what good boy goes out here and goes out here and manipulates people to drive him into a riot zone? That's a critical question that I would like to ask a lot of these Kyle Rittenhouse defenders. How is this boy so good if he's out here and he's manipulating people into giving them firearms and manipulating people into driving him into a riot zone. Now, any man, boy who admires law enforcement and wants to be a part of law enforcement understands the concept of male authority, and any boy who admires law enforcement uh, or support, understands the concept of chain of command. And any boy out here who wants to be a part of law enforcement understands you have to respect the chain of command, and you have to respect male authority if you want to be a part of law enforcement. That's why your George Zimmerman failed to be a police officer and was kicked out of training, because like most beta males, he, can, he could not go out here and deal with the whole concept of male authority and chain of command and having to be accountable to another man or acknowledge the authority of another man. And the same thing here with through Kyle Rittenhouse. He cannot deal with the whole concept of male authority or chain of command because like most boys who come from single mother households, he really has a hard time dealing with male authority. And that's why he went down there to circumvent the male authority down there. And this is why this boy got into trouble because any other man out here who had a father in his life, that father would be somebody whose authority he would acknowledge. And any critical thinking father who had character would, and when he hears his boy talking about going into a riot zone, he's going to sit that boy down and tell him, this is none of your business, and you are too young to be going into places like this. This is a danger to you. That's what a father is going to sit down and tell his son. He's going to sit down and say to his son that, this is a riot going on down there. It is too dangerous for you. And he's also going to tell his son that the police are trained to deal with this. EMTs are trained to deal with this. You, with your little 17-year-old ass, doesn't know anything about anything about this whole situation. And the only thing you're going to do in that situation is get yourself jammed up. That's what a father would sit down and tell his son. Unfortunately, this little beta male brat never had a man in his life to give him any sort of discipline, 
structure or instructions and he had no male authority figure there to give him any sort of order and that's why he created so much chaos when he drove to Kenosha, Wisconsin because had there been a man in his life he would have told him no you're not gonna go there he's gonna insist he not go there and he's gonna punish his son and let him know look you're not going over there because it ain't got nothing to do with you if that man wants his business protected with all of those cars he's got insurance he got security he don't need you and that would be the way a father would have dealt with his son but because this boy had no father to give him any structure he's sitting up there blubbering like a little bitch and then sitting there making us believe that he's some sort of victim and sadly because we have a gynocentric society we have people making excuses for this little brat instead of making him take the accountability a group of men would want him to take and insist that he would have to take that's what you would get from a community of men that community of men would look at his crocodile extra salty tears and they would call bullshit on them and the reason why they would call bullshit on them is because they would look at this boy and they would say you're ready to do man work then you better get ready to take care of man consequences and if you can't take the man consequences then you need to sit your little behind down somewhere and deal with it but if you take this man's job you better be ready to take those responsibilities and you better get ready to deal with Bubba and Tiny once you get convicted and you better get ready to be traded away for those little Debbie snack cakes Fritos chips Raymond noodles and you better be ready to deal with those consequences inside of that penitentiary unfortunately your white supremacists have no backbone and no stones of a man so they enable this boy make excuses for him with their covert contract and with that covert contract they're looking to get a pass for their for themselves where they can get away with egregious actions like killing any random person in the street because that's what the legal precedent of this case is all about your white supremacists having the impunity to walk out here in the street and what's so cowardly about it is you've got these white supremacist males out here like your my pillow and Ricky Schroeder they're out here and they using this boy as a shield and again that shows how cowardly they are because they're gonna stand behind this blubbering little coward instead of standing up like men openly coming out and saying that you're a racist and letting everybody know but no they stand behind this little brat this little crybaby of a wimp who wants to again stand up and try to be a man but shows us how little how, how little of how pathetic he is because if you want to go out here and be a man like the thugs in the street then you have to deal with the consequences of your actions the same way a man does but this again he's sitting up here blubbering and crying wanting us to be sympathetic to him but there's no sympathy to be had because a boy who goes out here and manipulates people to drive him into a riot zone a boy who manipulates people to go out here and get a loaded AR-15 this this is not a boy who is somebody who is innocent no this is a boy who is clearly guilty and he needs to be held accountable for his actions because if you don't hold him accountable for his actions what you're doing is enabling him to go out here and feel emboldened to commit more crimes and the next time he may commit a crime it may either be a domestic violence situation or he may wind up going out here and attacking somebody else and what he's gonna do is look for people to sympathize with him the same way they're doing right now and when he doesn't get that sympathy then he's gonna wind up exploding in a further rage but the whole thing is you're enabling a male to become a further man in crisis and this boy is a ticking time bomb that eventually will wind up blowing up in the face of your white supremacist who cannot see the monster they're making in front of us all now if you want to see me make more videos like this you can donate to my patreon my paypal and my cash app by clicking the links in the description box and if you want to pick up some of my books like the man crisis where you can learn more about the dysfunctional behavior of beta males like this you can pick that book up on amazon.com and learn 
all of the dangerous and predatory behaviors that beta males like this participate in. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available for the first time on Google Play, The Man Crisis. Learn why so many men are falling apart in an increasingly gynocentric world in The Man Crisis. Get your copy on Google Play today.